Hey, it's Therese Rodriguez. We're on location with John, who's the winemaker here at Clos du Val. I'm very happy to be here. It's a, a nice old winery with, with two of the greatest vineyards in this valley. Yeah, tell us uh, about Clos du Val. Well, Clos du Val was established in 1972 by a, a French winemaker, Bernard Porte, and an American businessman, John Goulet. And uh, Bernard was given the job to travel around the world and choose a site to make high quality wines that could compete with the Europeans. And so it's not as grandiose, not as pretentious, but very solid, good wines. You see that the Côte de Val's winery is, is more the shape and design of a French farmhouse rather than a, a castle. We'll taste um, one of my favorite uh, varieties and that's Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir, tell us about Pinot Noir. In modern history, it originates in, in the Burgundy region which is continental and, and cooler, uh -huh. and more moist than, than the coastal area. And growing it, if it's not a, a very good climate and just the right soil and rootstocks, you'll end up with a rather bland red wine that is indistinguishable. So you need the good site, the cool area, the, the long ripening, and then you'll get a, a wine that's unmistakably Pinot and, and not like any other. Okay, so I'm ready to taste and smell yep, unmistakably so Pinot. We'll, we'll look at it. Look and, at it? And what are we and, looking for when we look at a Pinot? At Pinot, the, the colors, because of the thinner skin, is never going to be black, okay. um, like Cab or as dark as Cabernet or, or Syrah. And it's more, I, I think of it as um, ruby. And with Pinot, there's a variety of flavors, and they, our Pinots go from cranberry, raspberry, strawberry, mm -hmm. and then sometimes to a little bit of jamminess. Mm -hmm. um, also spice, spiciness. Yeah, that's what I'm smelling. Um, there's a, some years it's ginger or cinnamon. Uh -huh. Um, I think this year's more cinnamon, cinnamon yeah. flavor. Pinot Noir is, well, it's, I say, it's one of my favorite varieties, and one of the reasons is that it is the most versatile red wine with food. And it, it has less tannin, so the wine has a richness, but then a, a silkiness at the same time. Right. It, it doesn't have the astringency that you have with many other varieties. And really, I, I have it with salmon through to the red meats. What makes it a reserve? Explain to our viewers what this means. After harvest, we'll taste all the, the wines blind, sitting down, and we'll rate them as being excellent, ability to age, uh, real concentration, really an outstanding example of, of that variety. Mm -hmm. And then the next ranking would be very pleasant, lovely to drink, perfect for our Caneros Pino in this case. Mm -hmm. And the third category is sell it off now. It's Just not, <laughs> put, it in, put it in a it's, cask. It, it's not good enough for us. Okay, cool. And, and then the reserve lots, we'll then look at and we'll start playing with them and blending, saying, well, let's try 20% of this and 30 of that and 50 of that, and play around with them until we get a wine that has the ability to age for 10 plus years, mm -hmm. uh, like many of the famous French ones do. The reserve wines are available uh, through our wine club and, and all at the winery. The, the other wines like our, our Pinot Noir, the Ariadne, Chardonnay, mm -hmm. um, the Merlot and the Napa Cab, uh, we distribute very widely mm -hmm. and we, we sell in, in all 50 states. Well, this is incredible. Thank you for your time, John. You're welcome. And uh, tell us where you're located. Uh, Cloteval, Napa Valley. So please visit us if you're ever in California. Thank you very much. Thank you.